Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a recap on day 2 and day 3 of Washington football training camp. I'm also going to be showing you guys some insane highlights from those training camps in about a minute, and I'm going to be giving you guys my biggest takeaways from the training camp. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. So first, I will be showing you guys the highlights, and then we'll come back to give you guys a recap and my biggest takeaways. So let's first get into the highlights. So guys, real quick, before we get into the highlights, I just got a notification that Chase Young was injured in practice. Nothing too big, but we'll talk about it once you guys see the highlights, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are back and quick, quick update. So Chase Young did get injured in training camp, but so far, nothing too serious. So J JP Finley said Chase Young hasn't been getting a ton of work today. He has been doing some individuals, but that doesn't seem like much, if any, 11-11 work or 11 v 11 work, but uh, JP Finley reported uh, slightly after he said, looks like Chase Young has an ice wrap on his left hip area. That might explain why he's not getting as much action today. But based on what JP said earlier, saying that he was getting in work, it looks like it's not too serious, which is good news, but it is bad that he's not getting the work in. Uh, it's not his fault. Obviously, he got hurt. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious, and he is back uh in the next few days because especially I mean he might be an exception but rookies need a lot a lot of work so I really think he needs to hopefully he gets back soon so we can get in a bunch of work so now let's get into um some of the updates from today and then also my biggest takeaways uh, also I saw Juan Gotti do this video yesterday I was going to do it yesterday but I was traveling so I couldn't do it but go ahead check out his channel so real quick of course uh, AP and Thomas Davis were not practicing today, veteran day off, so that means Bryce Love was getting all the first team reps. And then also Sadiq Charles still hasn't been here, and then the Thaddeus Moss Club, you guys already saw that. Um, Chase Young and Brandon Sheriff, they were talking. And then um, JP Finley said offense looks really bad in 11 uh, v 11 drills, um, sloppy. And then they did say, though, Haskins looks a lot better. Uh, in the second set of 11 v 11, a nice completion to McLaurin and to Cam Sims. Also, another big takeaway is uh, Sadiq Charles still hasn't played, so it looks like Jerome Christian is going to be the starter, at least for now. He will be until Sadiq Charles comes back or someone else steps up. It looks like he's been getting the bulk of the first team reps uh, at left tackle. And from the reports that I've heard, it doesn't look like he's been playing too bad, which is good news. And especially since he's playing against this insane defensive line. But um, something to monitor. Hopefully Sadiq Charles comes back uh, soon. Ron Rivera still has not given us an update about that injury. Hopefully it comes out soon. And then also J.B. Finley says uh, Antonio Gibson looked pretty good. Made a nice play off the edge. And also... Um, Bryce Love has been looking good, and he's been getting, uh, yesterday he got the second team reps, but today with AP out, he got the first team reps, so I honestly think, um, Bryce Love might be easing his way into, maybe by the, like, middle of the season, he might be able to split carries with AP, or with, uh, Bryce, uh, sorry, Bryce Love might be able to split carries with AP, um, I think, uh, 
initially, AP will definitely be the starter, but I think by the middle of the season, they might be splitting carries if Bryce Love is doing good. A lot of people are saying he hasn't lost his steps, so that is good. Also, um, it looks like Isaiah Wright, I believe, was getting uh, most of the punt return reps, which uh, is expected. Also, this is what JP Finley said. Marcus Baugh is getting a lot, a lot of um, work at tight end, which is uh, not concerning necessarily because he could be having a good training camp, but it is weird. Uh, we'll see if he makes the team. Could be a sleeper to make the team. Watch out for him. I wouldn't be very surprised if he makes the team. And now let's get on to some other um, guys, other perspectives. So Kyle Stackpole, he works for Washington. He said, first team punt happening now. First punt return is undrafted rookie Isaiah Wright. And he just made a running grab on a booming punt from Tressway. Sims is up now, and Trey Quinn is also back there. Do not want Trey Quinn, but I'm definitely fine with Steven Sims or even um, Isaiah Wright. Either of those guys is fine. So here are some other updates, and then we're going to go to some more takeaways. Um, you guys saw a bunch of the clips there. So Also, Ronald Darby actually looked pretty good yesterday, too which is very, very nice. The only question with him is he has to stay healthy because even last year, when he was playing bad, it was a lot of it had to do with his injury. He was playing through injury. So this is the first team session. What the This is what the base defense looked like. Uh, Kevin Pierre-Lewis, Holcomb, and Bostic at linebackers. But do remember, Thomas Davis had a vet day off. Ap uh, Troy Apke was out there at free safety. Darby and Fuller at cornerback. Sweat, Pan, Ioannidis, and Kerrigan on the defensive line. Uh, we'll see about this Troy Apke thing. I, I honestly will see what happens with him because a lot of people think Sean Davis is going to start, but he hasn't been getting a lot of playing time, so we'll see how that uh, hap what, what goes on with that. Uh, also, Sean Dion Hamilton had a nice breakup on AGG. And Haskins also did pretty good. This is what uh, Kyle Stackpole said. Haskins gets five plays during the second team session. Hits McCorin on a post route against Darby on the first play. Made a couple other completions, although two of those plays would have been sacked. Um, another team session that's close to the goal line. Haskins uh, gets five plays in. Then Allen gets four. Then four for Haskins. And now Montez is in. Gibson started the session at running back while Love was there. Once Haskins came back in, we've also seen two running backs out there on several several uh, um, occasions. I hope this. I hope he wasn't the second team guy. We'll see. Um, oh, also, I, I wanted to say this earlier. I heard JP Finley talking about in his uh, podcast. Uh, Jordan Brailford has looked good, and I said this earlier. I preferred him a lot more than James Smith Williams. So I hope we keep him instead of James Smith Williams. I think he'll be good. And, um, yeah, Montez Sweat has looked strong again. He's done well against Morgan Moses. It's tough when you're in training camp because when something good happens, it almost means it almost always means that something bad happened because if, let's say, McLaurin or whatever made a nice catch or, and kind of juked out the defense, that's good for the offense, but not necessarily for the defense. You know what I mean? Um, so Kyle Allen has also looked okay, but a lot of it's been dinking and dunking, uh, game managing, which honestly though, you kind of want out of your, uh, backup quarterback. You don't want, I, I think that's good for Kyle Allen. I think that'll be, um, nice. I think I, I want him more as a, um, uh, game manager instead of trying to get everything out there. But so far training camp has been good. No, uh, major injuries. Um, Nothing much uh, at all. Uh, the only thing is Sadiq Charles. Ryan Anderson came back today, though. Running backs looks good. I'm really excited about Bryce Love. I think he's going to make a huge impact. And Haskins has looked better. A lot of people have uh, said he looks better. And that should be expected. Uh, yeah, that that definitely should be expected. He He's had a lot. Um, he's had a lot of time this offseason to work out. And... Um, yeah, I think he should have a really, really good year this year. Um, also, right here, Pete Haley said, some early keep your eye, uh, eyes on these guys, uh, Jordan Brailford and Marcus Ball. That's kind of what I said. I think he would, those guys keep an eye, on, an eye out on that. Those guys will have potential. They could make the team. I, I really think one of them could make the team. We'll see, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. 
And yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see this um, uh, series every day. And yeah, peace.